that is it right there all right there we go acts 1 verse 47 um says praising god and having favor with all the people and the lord added to the church daily those who were being saved he added to the church the lord added to the church daily those who were being saved and so this morning we want to continue with that word this morning evangelize or fossilize evangelize or fossilize you see the church has only two options amen we can evangelize or we can fossilize we can just keep keep you know rotating and, and, and repeating the same things over and over and over again when when we fail to share our faith right then we're, it means we're preaching to each other when we sh fail to share our faith with those on the outside of the church we either end up in a holding pattern amen or in death throes the new testament church um church's uh, growth is described in these words it's described in these words the lord added to the church daily those who were being saved the bible says those who were being saved not only did they influence every level of society but their enemies said these who have turned the world upside down have come here too <laughs> the enemies the enemies said that these who have turned the world upside down have come here too you see if your church closed its doors tomorrow would anyone other than your congregation notice the difference think about that let's think about those early believers my brothers and sisters their assignments seemed geographically impossible they were walking miles upon miles, traveling from city to cities. Amen? It was geographically impossible. How were they to reach people in far, far places? Using donkeys and, and, and you know, just walking. They had no air travel at all. They had no radio. They had no television. They had no internet radio. They had no, no, no WhatsApp. They had no television. They had no printing presses. They have no internet or any other modern means at their disposal for communicating the gospel. None, none. It seemed legally impossible. Think about it, legally impossible. They were forbidden by the government authorities to speak in Jesus name. Think about that. So much to think about today. So much to unpa um, uh, uh, unpack this morning. And it seems socially impossible after all. Who would really listen to a bunch of Galileans devoid of culture and class? Who? But my friends, you know what? They were witnesses through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. They were witnesses through the power of the Holy Ghost. And people did listen. People did say, get saved. They did listen. They did so much with so little, my brothers and sisters. And we seem to do so little with so much. It's reckoned that if just 10%, just 10% of the members of your church of an average church, a matter of fact, just 10% got serious about evangelism, then their church would double in one year. That is what so many surveys have, uh, have revealed. If only 10%, just 10% of the church, your church, if 100 people in your church and 10 of you decide you're going to evangelize, seriously evangelize. Then your church will be double, double in one year. And that's why we, we keep asking you to share the link here and share the link there. I, I hear people saying, you know, share the link and, 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 and share this broadcast with somebody. Because guess what? Our numbers will double. We'll see more people coming on. More people will be hearing the word of God. 
and the ministry will grow and grow and grow and so many more people will be exposed to the word of God. It's true. By the way, the word translated, um, the word is translated witness in the same word from which we get our English word martyr. You see, these early believers, they, they reached the world for Christ because they were willing to do, uh, they were willing to devote their lives for his cause. Are you willing to devote your life for the cause this morning? Are you willing? Are you, are you willing to devote your life for the cause today? Why should our early believers um, outdo us today? Why should they outdo us? We have everything to our access. Everything to, we have access to every single thing. Everything. The early believers, they reached the world for Christ because they were willing to devote their lives for the cause. So again today, my question is, are you evangelizing or you're fossilizing? You must evangelize, my brothers and sisters, just like the early church did. We must evangelize. And so today, I hope the challenge was made today. I hope you have accepted the challenge to tell your neighbor about Jesus Christ. I hope you have accepted the challenge to tell your friends and your neighbors how great God is and how wonderful our Lord is and what he has done for you. May this word touch your heart today and you can be a part of the number that's evangelizing and not just fossilizing, not just preaching to the church. I don't understand that sometimes. We just feel comfortable preaching to our brothers and sisters, to the church, to get saved when they're already giving their lives to the Lord. Let us extend ourselves a little bit. Extend yourself this morning. Extend yourself today. This week, tell somebody about Jesus. When was the last time you've said, you know, have you, have you had the Lord, have you accepted the Lord as your personal savior to someone? Let's start doing that again. And the answer is no, then you, you, you reach out to them and, 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 and let them understand what you are going through. Let them understand what you are enjoying. Father, we just thank you again for your word. Thank you, Lord God, for speaking to our hearts as we give you glory and honor and praise. Thank you, Lord God, for the hearers of your word. Let this word touch their hearts so much, it pierce their hearts so much that their lives will never be the same again. They'll accept you as your Lord and Savior. And for those of you, those of us who have already accepted you, Lord God, allow us to take on the challenge to evangelize. Evangelize. And speak your word, speak truth to your people so they can accept you as their Lord and Savior. Have your way with us today, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen.